Hey guys, uh, this is part two of the uh, account update. Um, I know I could have done it in one video, but um, when you're uploading videos from the iPhone directly to YouTube, it only lets you do 10 minutes. You know, just from phone to Wi-Fi. So um, I'll do this in two parts. If people want to watch the second part, great. Um, but anyways, so from where I left off, uh, I was talking about the ride-along, uh, ride-alongs that I had and the stuff I was carrying and you know I could make an EDC update if you wanted me to um, so leave a comment in that video or this video and say sure do that um, so yeah uh, what's to come okay next topic on the agenda uh, how's my British accent folks is that good or is that Australian I don't know um, Oh, uh, oh yeah, okay. So, I made these today. Actually, I, I made them a long time ago. I don't want to show you the specifics. The specifics. Uh, specific ocean. What? Um, anyways, these are like my little knife cheat sheets I use. Has all the information about any given knife. I made these myself. So, blade length, material, how much they weigh, that stuff. So anyways, I have, I believe, six knives I'm, I'm going to make reviews on real soon. I seriously, I want to pump out two of these before Christmas, or at least before the, uh, before the new year. So I, have, I want to make a review on the Custom Scar Grizzly, I have. You've seen that one a couple times. Uh, Benchmade Sabrosa, 785 I think it is, Sabrosa. Titanium, awesome, awesome knife. Uh, the Kershaw Knockout. The Cold Steel American Lawman. Lawman. Uh, I don't even think you guys know I have that one, but yeah, I, I got one of those a while ago. The CRKT Swindle. Got that one for my birthday in July. Also got this one for my birthday, so I might, I might wait till I become an EMT or something to give a review on this so I can actually kind of use it in the field it was intended to so I'll probably wait who knows maybe even a few years that was kind of an ugly face man <laughs> to review this one um, <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes okay and then the Leatherman Wave which I got summer of 2011 have not gotten around to a review of it but you know it's a tool it has many features and many things so I kind of wanted to you know, give it time so I could just kind of naturally kind of use all those all those uh, little tools. Um, also, uh, I guess another question for you guys, I could do this, um, is should I make a collection update? Different knives I have. Again, like, you know, I haven't told you guys about the American Lawman. Um, or maybe a couple others. Well, you know, this you guys didn't know about till today. So, you know, could I make an EDC, uh, sorry, a collection update, you know, show you the new knives and flashlights and stuff I have. Um, I could do that. Um, you know, if you don't want me to, I, I you know, obviously I won't. Uh, or if I don't get too much response, um, then I won't but if you want to I'll be more than happy to do it so you kind of see the knives that I have so you kind of know the reviews and videos that could be coming up again also before I kind of switch topics um, if you want to see uh, the EDC I had during my ride along a uh, ride alongs actually the first one I didn't carry too much the second one is what I would show you and that was the later one obviously um, I'll show you that. I, I think I carried some interesting things. So there's that. Um, okay, so kind of switching topics. And going back to what I was saying earlier in part one. Um, I know I'm only 23. You know, I'm not going to get... I can't give the advice that, you know, some wise 95-year-old man would give, you know... He came out of World War II, scratched up and or one maybe bruised, and you know he, you know, 
he has better advice than me, right? But, you know, I have learned some things in the few year, uh, last few years, and I want to tell my younger folks here, may, I mean, you know, of course the older folks can listen too. Maybe they'll agree. I don't know. You can listen. Um, or as I always like to say, you can just shut the video off right here if you don't care and you don't want to listen to my fat face. Uh, um, so, going back to what I was saying in part one, um, why I chose this field is because I really see myself enjoying it, but I really see myself also being good at it, you know. Um, and that's what I think, you know, people, especially in high school, should um, be be taught and they should um, think about, you know, of, you know, maybe even make a list, you know, what are my hobbies? And then um, of those hobbies, you know, which do I most enjoy? And then maybe in a second column, which of those am I actually good at? You know, am I... Do you enjoy putting on makeup? You know, but if you're bad at it, then <laughs> no one wants you to be their cos cosmetologist, I think it is. You know, why would I know that? I don't know, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Shut up, Andrew. Going on a ramble, like always. But anyways, you know, really, think about what you're good at, but then also think... Um, I should flip that around. Think about what you enjoy doing, maybe hobbies or anything. And then what are you also good at? And then can you combine those two things? Or does one of those things, are you good at it and do you enjoy it? Pursue that is basically what I'm trying to say. Because, again, I may only be 23, but the past five years of my life have been pretty sucky because of basically my educational history. Um, so I graduated in high school in 2008. You know, just three months later after summer, I started uh, going at the, uh, going to the local city college here in Fresno, appropriately called Fresno City College. And uh, I basically have been there for five years. It's a two-year junior college, and I've been there for basically five. Um, five would actually be the end of this semester. That would be a solid five years. But uh, the spring semester of 2013 was my last semester. I, you know, I've been taking random classes that didn't really, um, you know, this class had nothing to really do with this class, and then this class had nothing to do with this class, this class, or this class, so, you know, it's, I was kind of taking random classes, and I didn't know if I wanted to transfer, I didn't know if I wanted to just get a, a, a GED, of course, my school now doesn't offer a GED anymore, so I would have to transfer or something, you know, and it's like, I didn't know what the heck I wanted to do. Uh, so then, just earlier this year, I was talking with my parents and, you know, they were actually kind of worried that, you know, I didn't know what I wanted to do and what, what field am I going to go into? What, you know, basically, when am I going to move out and do my own damn thing? Um, but then uh, the idea of EMT was thrown out there and I'm like, I like that field. I like the idea. I've never thought of it. I'm going to try that out because it, it kind of really struck a chord. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going for that. Um, so just think about that. Uh, again, what are you good at? Oh, damn it. <laughs> what do you enjoy? And of those things, what are you just good at and do you love? Uh, you know, and if you're young, really think about that. If you're in high school, think about that. You know, Again, I may only be 23. I may not have the old wise uh, advice of some old wise dude. But I've had a pretty crappy last five years because I didn't know what I wanted to do. So anyways, I'm approaching 10 minutes. So I'm going to say adios, guys. Y'all take care. And I promise I'll see you soon.